Welcome back to the channel everyone, Donovan Kelly here. We've recently made it down to the South Island of New Zealand. And if you've been following along in our journey, you'll know that we're staying in different Airbnbs all around New Zealand. Well, now we are. Before it was just three months in different parts of Auckland, but now we're just outside Christchurch and we just finished up our road trip to get down here, so that's what this video is all about. After packing everything up that we had in our downtown Airbnb at the City Life Hotel, we made our way southeast to the Bay of Plenty where we would spend our first night in a motel in Toronga. most beautiful drives down to Toronga and uh, yeah we're just gonna pick a mountain climb it get a nice little lay of the land check out this lovely spot in the country this is really f big apparently it's only an hour up but uh, it looks like it's quite steep is it? 1860 meters this is going to be real short and steep rather than sweet. See what I did there? We have some nice smelly friends to hang out with us along this hike, which I don't know, do we have to pay extra for that? Maybe we can pet them, they're so close. And you get some beautiful art along the way. So far so great, just a little steep. We're over 20 minutes in. It's a lot of straight up. Obviously, that makes sense. Views are amazing. Good workout on the calves. Definitely gets your heart going. Like, welcome to the Bay of Plenty. That was the steepest hike of my life. But when you see this, it's worth it. I've never just had to go like that uphill for, I mean, 360 degree views of the Pacific Ocean and a mountain range, like. For like 30 minutes, that's it. Yeah, 30 32 minutes. minutes to get up here. Like, you can bang out the elevation like that? Yeah, does nothing. Plus it's sunset, just can't beat that. Like this mountain casts such a giant shadow, like it's shading like half of the downtown area, it looks like right now. But yeah, we immediately thought, oh shit, like why do we only have one night here? Truly is a beautiful town. Love it right on the water. Our next two nights of accommodations were booked at this Airbnb in Rotorua. We knew that the weather coming in wasn't looking so pretty, so we decided to drive an hour past it on your way to Topa. We're at the Wairake Terraces. Checking out some, uh, checking out this beautiful geothermal walkway. Highly recommended to us by uh, a local and we're uh, really looking forward to it. Oh, look at that. Oh man. This steam is just coming our way. They've done a really nice job here. I think paying $15 to come experience this is more than worth it. I was thinking about traveling on Thursday, no one else is around. Nice little constant reminder that the earth is always doing its thing. There's a Maori village that you can walk through and so far some of the art that we've seen here, some, some wood carvings, absolutely beautiful. I think that's where we're walking to next. So rich in color and extremely detailed. I'm really enjoying this. Holy! 
know, for something free, like two minutes off the highway, that's pretty good. Like there are no shortage of really cool things to do around here looking at a few maps in the area there's geothermal walks zip lining there's boat river cruises river rafting a lot of really cool things in this area hookah falls definitely cool moving on now after seeing the top two attractions in the area we made our way back to rotorua for the night where we would see the redwoods tree walk I feel like I'm on the forest moon of Endor. For the first time in my life, I kind of feel like an Ewok, and that's really cool. I feel like as a kid, this was actually like really high up on my bucket list. Now that we're here doing it, it's kind of a dream come true, I guess. Day number four. Now day number four was probably one of my favorite days. We made our way to Hawks Bay to see a brewery that was highly recommended to Brittany from some of her co-workers at Urban Hot Brewing in Auckland, and that was Brave Brewing. It's located in Hastings, just a little bit south of Napier. This is another classic example of us going into wine country and finding a really good little brewery. Hawks Bay is generally known for their wine. It's New Zealand's oldest wine region, and they've been making wine there since the mid 1800s. Back to Brave Brewing. Back to Brave Brewing. Cool. We were here on a Saturday afternoon and it was just jam packed. I totally get it because their food, oh my god. I have not had chicken wings in New Zealand until this place and they were so good. But I have to say that their beer was even better. Initially I went for the American Pale Ale just to get my fix of some pine and some citrus flavors. It was really good. But the flight board that we also got had this beer on it called Tiger Milk. And oh my gosh. You know what, I'm just, ugh, I have one. I, I'm gonna go grab it. Here it is. We even bought a glass. Oh man. You know, it's, it's really light for a 6.6% .6 beer. And the hops just contrast the subtle milkiness, smooth texture just so beautifully. This is not sponsored by the way, but one of the ladies who was working there did tell us that this beer does have a little bit of a cult following. Along with Brave Brewing swag like t-shirts and hats and things like that, they had Tiger Milk shirts and hats as well, which isn't irregular for a craft brewery, but it sounds like they sell a lot of this beer. And I get why. It's like really good. But moving on, after buying a couple bottles of Tiger Milk at the brewery, we headed to our most luxurious Airbnb that I think we've ever been in. It was located in Eskdale, it was on this really cool hill that kind of overlooked Napier. If you want the full Airbnb tour, it'll, it'll be on uh, Brittany's channel. I'll just show off a few shots here and there. It was definitely a treat, to say the least. Oh yeah. Napier right now. Um, all the signs say it's the Art Deco capital. I don't know if that's of the world or New Zealand. I could probably look it up. Some of the buildings here are really cool. Definitely makes you feel like you're in a different decade. This tobacco company specifically has been one of the nicest ones we've seen so far. All right, I think we can go explore downtown now. Just parked at the beach, gonna do a little walk around, check out the area so far. So great.
Got really lucky today. It's super nice out. Really glad it's not raining so we can actually enjoy the town a little bit. We're only going to be here for a few hours, but still really wanted to check it out. A lot of people commented in some of the past videos saying that it's kind of a must-see, and so far I'd have to agree. The whole Art Deco thing, some of the street signs and the architecture, it's really cool. Makes me want to wear a suit, do some gambling, some drinking. Feel like I'm hanging out in Chicago in the 1920s during the Al Capone era. So I guess I always want to do that, but not too really. People who commented in prior videos uh, highly suggested that I go and get a slice of pizza. I think it's called Vinci's. Um, so that's what we're gonna go do right now. Let's go get some food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Definitely a lot of suggestions and recommendations. Unfortunately, you know, the reality is we just can't hit all of them up. But so far, going to Vinci's, that was one of the best things ever. And uh, another recommendation in Napier was this Rasoi. I th oh, I'm probably butchering that name. This uh, Indian place, like the butter chicken smell right now is out of this world. I just want to eat everything in this town right now. <laughs> Napier is awesome, plain and simple. Probably one of my favorite spots so far in the North Island. It's really a shame that we can't spend more time here. We gotta hit the road. We gotta go to Wellington to catch the ferry early tomorrow morning. But it's like the Great Gatsby meets the Untouchables. Just like really cool, like old school Hollywood fonts and things everywhere. I love this place. I think we'll be back to Napier. Let's hit the road. Good morning from Wellington. So. Woke up, this view is just unbelievable. I'm just never gonna get sick of it. Really picturesque bay. City of Wellington just looks amazing. Like all these buildings and houses built up on these hills. Not gonna get sick of that. Too bad we have to leave so soon. One thing we did do though, when we initially booked the ferry, we there was an option to spend a little bit more money in case you wanted to change it to later in the day, which we did. So we get to enjoy Wellington for, I don't know, four or five hours. So we're gonna go check it out. We are in Windy Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, and so far I think it's safe to say our first impressions are, wow, we could probably live here. This is pretty nice. We got hills, we got a marina, we got, you know, some low-key skyscrapers. They're not very big. Everyone gets a nice view. I'm digging Wellington. You know, even if we don't have a whole lot of time here, I feel like one of the more safer things to do is to just enjoy a little walk around the wharf for the harbor. And so far, I think I'm right. No shortage of public art. The cool mix of like modern and industrial architecture all throughout the wharf here. It's really cool. Um, we're gonna have to look at how much rent is here. I'm sure it's not cheap, but they got arena for concerts. They got a rugby team. They got big stadium. Like they got everything you need here. We'd be well taken care of here. Hmm. Jeez. Wellington. Brittany just booked tickets for Beervana. I guess the pre-sale just went on today. So we already have intentions on coming back. Flights are booked. Giant beer festival that's held at uh, Sky Stadium actually, just right over there. Thanks so much for watching our little trip to uh, this point and we'll see you guys in the next one where we get to check out the ferry and the South Island. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>